there guys what's up it's keto from brick lsr here and actually i know it's a weekday and i'm actually having my lunch time break i've been deciding what to do um after lunch and i decided to post my first video this video is about my osgiliath mock or my own creation of osgiliath this osgiliath um mock is Partly inspired by one of the sections of Fuskilias, made by Lego Mocklock, if you know him. Um, is um, so yeah, he's got it's got the tower here, um, some chips and um, pieces that are not in place. So it really looks like a ruined city. So. We have some archer posts, one over there too, a catapult, I'll show you more about that later, and um, the pathway, which is down here, and we have a couple of Isilian rangers um, going out of Osgiliath. So um, um, let's first get into detail into Osgiliath. So here is what it looks like. So here's what it looks like inside this Gilead. We have um, really uneven um, architecture here. Very uneven because, of course, as Gilead is a ruined city in Gondor, it has gone through many wars and it's almost breaking down. So. I'm sorry, I need to fix something. So, here we have a small place where the guards can sort of like sit down and warm themselves around this small campfire. Pretty hasty, hastily built campfire. Just a broken pillar here. Just a, just standing alone, and there's also some ammunition, projectiles, for the catapult. There's three of them. I'll show you how the catapult fires in just a sec. Um. At this part of Asgiliath, we have these stairs leading up to the main tower over here. We got some archers. Another archer up here. The first archer can climb here up to the ladder. There's another post. And here at the main wall, we have a sort of ladder that can at the guards can climb up to get to the walls here. Um, at this section, it's just pretty uneven. Although this part has actually a uh, weapon storage. Flip that up. Oh, one of the guards is in the way. You flip that up and then it will reveal some weapons there. We have a shield and a sledgehammer. Yeah. Mm. And you can close that up again. And above it, we have one of the archer posts. There's an archer there. I'll get into detail with these minifigures after I've shown you all of Skelias. Here we have a sort of like small doorway. Let me just... Oh uh, wait, I'll just get into detail with that. So this is what this... um this sort of like doorway looks like 
it's a doorway without a door, actually. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I, I think that was um, all there is for Skilias. And I'll show you now what it looks like when the catapult is fired. So yeah, I've gone into the detail of Osagiliath. Um, there really isn't anything more. Oh, sorry. Except this flag here. Really should make a custom flag with the banner of the white tree. But anyways, let's go into the minifigures. Okie dokie. So, our first minifigure... I know he really doesn't look that very cool, but um, we have um, Captain Faramir. Now, I do not have any hairpiece. Oh, by the way, yes, I do have a hairpiece. He's got a black hood. It used to be white, but I painted it black because I didn't have my other choice was red. And I didn't want Faramir to have a red hood. So I just gave him a black hood, and uh, he has a custom cape. This is not a real Lego cape. Just and some sleeveless arms. I know that Faramir isn't sleeveless, but <laughs> these are the only um, um, arms that fit Faramir. He got. I don't re quite remember where these legs came from, but I do know that this. It was just a cheap China version of Thor. It's pretty chipped out. I mean, chipped out. The paint has been pretty chipped. So, yeah. It can just be a black torso. Um, uh... Oh, this really can't be accurate for Faramir, but... Um, uh... Oh, pardon me. His hood can be swapped out for this. Um, hairpiece. As I said earlier, it isn't very accurate. He uses the Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord face, although this is a China version. He doesn't have the angry um, second face. And this sword, unfortunately, <laughs> is actually a samurai sword, or maybe a katana. You can call call it whatever it is you want it to be. Call call it whatever you want it to be. It can be a samurai sword, or a katana, whatever. Okay, so that was Captain Faramir. Now let's get to the other minifigures. Now I will be doing the coolest Gondorian minifigure I have. And he is the Ethelian Ranger. I just have to get that up close. I actually have a, back, a black background, but this can actually be switched to white. Um, okay, so now I changed it to a white background. So now you can really differ the Ethelian Ranger. I'll just take out the bow first. So, he's got um, sort of like... If, you, if I can clear up on that. Oops. Can't really. Sorry, guys. I need to do it. Oh yeah, that's better. He's got the Ronin, um, sort of like Avengers Ronin hood. I'm not really familiar with with Avengers because I'm a really, I'm a really a Tolkien enthusiast, and I am not into Avengers anymore. But I learned that this is a Ronin hood and a Ronin torso. It's a China version, so there's sort of like painting everywhere. You don't usually get um, painting on every part of the minifigure's body if it were a real Lego minifigure. Um, he's got a low-key face. He's got a quiver. This sort of like usual Lego quiver for a bow and arrow. For your bow, I mean arrows. A green cape. And his bow is actually a Ronin bow, too. 
isn't your usual medieval bow. So yeah, that was the Ethelian Ranger. And now let's go on to the other Ethelian Ranger. He really isn't that specific. I mean, he doesn't have that much detail. He's got sort of like these old Thor legs. I think this is a Star Wars torso. I don't quite remember. And anyway, he's got a gray arm, a black, and a black arm with a hand, skin colored hand, and a custom bow. Um, I will do a separate video on how to make these custom bows. But as for now. He's got this sort of like armor piece. I really must swap that with the cape. And he's got the Superman face. Although the second face is almost chipped out, so I'm very fine with this this face. And a Creo Transformers helmet. I really must get myself a hood one day. Alright, so that was the Ethereum Ranger. Now let's go on to one of my favorites in the SGF mock, the soldier. He is actually made from made in pieces of lands. Lands from the Nexonites. He's also got a Nexonite shield. I, this is just a random Lego face. It's from sh one of my China military minifigures. So yeah, he's got this sort of like removable cover for the helmet. This usual Nexo Knight's um, armor design. He ought to be a Rohirrim, <laughs> you know, because he, look, he's got the a horse there. But actually the banner for Rohan is actually a horse on green. And sometimes the Rohirrim armor can be red. And the sword is a custom sword. Um, you make it from a lightsaber, hilt, a jumper plate, and a 4x4 bar. So yeah, that's one of my favorite minifigures from this, from Sigilias. And now let's go to another soldier of Gondor. He, again, he's got the custom sword. Um, some Superman legs. A Hawkeye torso. Um, a custom shield. As you can see with some Nexonite printing on it. One of my Batman, um, faces, I think this is. He came with a rubber ducky. <laughs> And this usual um, knight helmet. Okay, so that was the another one of those shows. soldiers. Let's move on to a crossbow guy. Now, <laughs> I know this is a Spider-Man torso, but I couldn't use anything else. He's got this um, this this face, a random Lego face. This time made by Lego. I usually see those guy things. Um, and some Creo, Creo Transformer pieces. There are actually some magnets. And a magnet on the helmet. A black, some black legs. And so, uh, some black um, arms too. And a crossbow, your usual lego crossbow all right so that was the crossbow guy i mean the crossbow archer now let's go to the spearman he's right over here i designed his spear to be sort of like that spear of the fountain guards in minas tirith so he really is not to be a fountain guard, but his helmet is just is was is exactly like the helmet that I showed you for the crossbow archer. Only he the he his armor 
does not have that magnet thing. He's got a Captain America torso, but nothing else good will do except that. The next one, Night Shield, and a red cape, and a random Lego face. All right, so I think those were all the customs. Those were all custom minifigures, but now I think I better get into detail with some other guys. And those other guys you might have seen were those very wet, very nicely detailed Gondorian minifigures. So here they are all now. All right, so here are those very nicely detailed Gondorians, and they are actually the Karuit, um, China. Lego Lord from the China Lego Lord of the Rings brand called Kuruit. They r make really nicely detailed minifigures. I've seen them do Game of Thrones and a lot of other um, uh, minifigures. Oh, I'm almost running out of time, guys. So you have a spearman with the Tony Stark face. I just swapped out the face. Um, this guy is an is an archer. With a ball, with an arrow in his hand, and another archer without armor, and some two swordsmen. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm all, all, I already don't have em enough time. So, that was my Osgiliath mock and Gondorian minifigures, and I really should be going right now. So, that I'm. My name is Kita from Brick OSR.